In this video, you're going to learn the secret to identifying high probability trade setups. So you can catch trades like this 50 point trade I took on ES on Friday, March 17th. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so dropping down into the daily chart now, we can see that we're in a market maker sell model, starting here with the original consolidation. And now we have moved into the sell side of the curve which means the institutional order flow is bearish and we're expecting bearish PD arrays as we move lower, targeting sell-side liquidity below these lows. So the idea on this chart was that we were moving up to this daily fair value gap and I was wanting to see prices reject all this and seek lower prices. All right, dropping down into an hourly chart, you can see that in L during London session in the overnight, we rejected this uh, this daily SIBI high to the to the tick. Also, we had a shift in market structure here with aggressive displacement lower. And if we draw this impulse leg, put a fib on it, you can see that we were in a premium. So we should expect price to move to a discount array, which you have a breaker here, as well as a fair value gap. You also had S and T with the bodies on YM. And as we drop into the lower time frames, you'll see that we entered short on in this fair value gap here, targeting this one hour discount array. All right, so taking it down into a three minute chart now, you can see uh, this one hour fair value gap from our one hour chart. And on this particular day, we had high impact news at 10 a.m. So when we're expecting lower prices, the 10 a.m. news, we should be ex anticipating a due to swing higher. So uh, and on this 10 a.m. news release, we have our due to swing higher into our one hour fair value gap, also creating an SMT with YM. Then we have aggressive shift lower big candles, even fair value gaps. You have your three minute balance price range here. Price works back up into it. This could have been an entry here. And you would target sell side liquidity as your low hanging fruit. Take some partials off there and let the rest of the trade ride down into your discount array, which was the one hour fair value gap that we see here. Now, I didn't take this entry. I actually got an entry up in here because I was confident on my drawing liquidity coming to here and these lows here. So I actually got in on a 15 second chart. And we're going to drop down and look at that now. So dropping into the 15 second, here's that one hour fair value gap. And here's that three minute entry here. So on your 10 a.m. news candle here, you have your Judas swing higher. You have your this wick here, this wick right above my cursor here. Broken through, there's your shift in market structure. You got fair value gaps here and here. So, so my entry was about 39.8750 and took that down all the way to the discount fair value gap and taking some partials off here at this sell side liquidity. So you can see we got in up here and see my entry was 87.50 and, and rode it all the way down. Did take some partials off here, but rode the rest down into this one hour discount array. So key takeaways from this video is you want to be working your way down from the higher time frames to the lower time frames to form your narrative so the higher time frames are going to have more impact on price and you don't want to be trading the one minute or the five minute and getting lost in the price action you want to you want to see the bigger picture you see the forest not the tree and then you can frame and move down into the lower time frames to refine your entry and reduce risk that way. So you have less risk and you're in line with the higher time frame bias. That's when you're going to make the best trades. You're going to make the best decisions. 
So if you want to see a live trade video of this trade, you can go to my Twitter at L2K Trades and it'll be in the pinned tweet. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.